Stand on top of it, Counselor. That's not gonna be easy. These guys play rough. I know. We'll be in touch. All right. Hey. Hey. Easy. Everything okay? Everything's great. How's your mom? She's good. Oh, it's so good to have all of you back home again. <laughs> uh, oh, I, I wanted to talk to you about something. I'm thinking about having a Halloween party. Just a little something for the kids. You guys up for it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Oh, great. Uh, thanks for the talk. It's so good to have you back here. Good. Oh, I will call you later. Yes, yes. Bye. <sighs> So, what are you two talking about? Oh, uh, talked about the Miranda Center. I took a big hit once your friend Greenlee was done with it. And she wants me to help rebuild and maybe raise some funds. Oh, so you're, you're doing that? Yeah. But you know what I was thinking? Remember we traveled and we saw all those amazing places? Well, we saw a lot of suffering too, right? Mm -hmm. People are hungry, starving, need medical attention. And I thought maybe we could be the person or the people that can help those people. Now find doctors and, and uh, experts and just do what we can, you know? Yeah, yeah. Doc, where is this all coming from? I don't know. Just, uh, <laughs> feel I haven't always been nice to people. I've hurt some people and maybe I can tip the scales the right way for once. Okay. And the casino meeting? It was good. Very good. We need to focus on the Miranda Center. Maybe have a fundraiser, you know? Talk to Bianca stop, about doing something. Stop, 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 stop doing that, please. Stop changing the subject every time I try to talk to you about something important. Like the sale of your casinos. I told you, I got it handled. Yes, I, just, I know, uh, yes, you said you had it handled on your own. But you're doing it without me. That wasn't part of our deal. If, if we're going to work on changing our lives together, I have to be your partner in this. Your equal partner. But I can't do that if you keep shutting me out. These are very dangerous people, Kendall. Well, then let me help you fight them. It's out of the question. Why? Why? Because some things can't be fixed by you, Kendall. Some things in this life need to be fixed by somebody else, like this, my problem, or Hayward, somebody else's problem. Okay. I thought that the reason that you stayed away was because of the whole issue with the casino. It was. No, it wasn't, obviously. It was this. You're still angry at me for helping Ryan and Greenlee, aren't you? Okay, so that's it. We're done talking. Done talking? We're never done talking. It's all we did for a year. During dinner, and walks, in bed, talk about how this relationship almost broke because of your behavior. And you come back here and you jump right back into it. I was helping two friends who desperately needed it. They will always desperately need it. Always. But it's our relationship putting on the line, not theirs. Oh, okay. isn't, isn't that exactly what you're doing right now? Or is this whole business with the casinos just another excuse to push me away? No, it's very real. Very real. Okay. Well, I'm having a hard time believing that right now. Why? Because I don't want you involved in it? I am involved, Zach. Okay? I'm involved. All right, all right. Sometimes, sometimes I, I jump in head first without thinking. <laughs> but you know what? You have a problem too. Mm -hmm. And that's thinking you can solve everything by yourself. We're a couple, okay? We're a couple. So it's time to start acting like it. Fine. Fine. I know, Zach, I'm serious. I know, I heard you. Okay. You're right. I am? Yeah. Have you even heard a word I said? Caleb, is everything all right? Uh, yeah. Uh, I have to be someplace. We'll get back to this. Mr. Lavery, let's go back a few months. Greenlee had completed her convalescence. She had returned to Pine Valley and was about to marry the man who saved her life, Dr. David Hayward. What was your reaction to that? I thought it was a terrible mistake. And when she went through with the marriage, how did that make you feel? Um, empty, um, lost, uh, like it was like letting her go all over again. 
because you still loved her. Objection, Your Honor. Ryan Lavery's feelings about the defendant are irrelevant. The DA didn't have any objections to questions like this when Madison North was on the stand. In fact, I believe she made the point that the relationship between Ryan Lavery and the defendant was relevant to this case, Your Honor. I'll allow it. Overruled. You may continue, Mr. Montgomery. Thank you, Your Honor. So once again, Mr. Lavery, you were in love with my client. Yes. So, when you learned that she was alive, I felt like I uh, had been sort of given a second chance to make things right with her. I want you to be happy. I want that. But just know that I'm not going to give up hope. I know that what we have, what we still have, is right there. And it's waiting for us. And I know deep down, deep, deep down in my bones that we will find it again. So you're going to leave me alone? You don't want anything from me? I want everything from you. I just gotta believe that one day you'll see that I'm right. I just gotta hope and believe and I'll just wait. You said that you love me, right? So I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. I don't care how long it takes. I don't care. It could be a week. It could be a month. It could be a year. It doesn't matter. I will wait for you to realize what I already know and that is that you and I are meant to be together. So your goal all along was to continue to fight for her? I... Well, yeah, it didn't feel like I had any choice. Let's move on to your relationship with the deceased, David Hayward. You... You didn't like him very much, did you? No, I did not like him very much. In fact, that's quite an understatement. What were your reasons? He was a guy who took whatever he wanted. Didn't matter who it hurt. And did that include my client? Yes. How did you feel about that? Furious. Very protective. Did you and Dr. Hayward discuss his relationship with my client? Yes, yeah, many times. Mostly me going to him and um, telling him to stay away from her. And when my client eventually felt trapped in this relationship, did she turn to you for help? No, she didn't want me involved. But you were already involved. Yes, she... She said that she didn't need me, but I wasn't just going to let her suffer. So you helped her, even though she told you not to. I wasn't going to let David ruin her life. I mean, after everything that we'd been through, what was I supposed to do? Is this a trick? Are you just saying that so that I'll shut up? <laughs> no, it's not a trick. We should do things together. You're right. I want my boys growing up knowing that the parents do everything together. We're a team. We're a team. Sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, the boys are upstairs playing cowboys with the nanny. Mm hmm And being a team, I thought maybe we could do the same. You want to play cowboy? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I like that idea. I'm going to get my boots. I'm going to get your cool hat, too. Sounds good. Okay. Meet you there. Mm-hmm. Who the hell planted this? Junior? I'd be damned if I'm going to let them use Sonya against me. Happy Halloween. Now comes the night of the party, Mr. Lavery. What were you thinking? That I had to get Greenlee away from David, that um, he was worse for her than I'd even predicted. How so? Um, he told me that he was going to take her away and that they were never coming back. And what happened then? 
I couldn't let that happen. Because you never stopped loving her. Never. Even though she was married. Even though she told you that she didn't love you, that she didn't want your help. She needed me and I would do absolutely anything for her. Because you realized that if she got on that plane, you might never see her again. Yes. So you had to do something. You had to stop it. Objection, Your Honor. Sustained. You fought with Dr. Hayward that night, didn't you? Yes. What happened after the fight? I don't remember. You don't remember? No. I, there was a, a trauma, and, and a large part of the night is just a, a blank. So it's conceivable that during this blank time... Objection, Your Honor. Ryan Leary is not on trial. Withdraw. No further questions. Well, it's getting late, and I'm hungry. So, Ms. Colby, you can begin your cross-examination after lunch. All rise. Where have you been? Weird thing. I saw Nick Pearson at Confusion, Jackson's big surprise witness. Yeah, so? He was talking smack about what a big celebrity he is now hitting on the bartender. But isn't this the same guy who wanted to lay low and not testify because it would wreck his marriage? <laughs> yeah, that's what he said, didn't he? Yeah, I guess not anymore. And he seemed real happy about the fact that Ryan was going to get nailed. Strange, right? I wish you'd gotten me out of here today. I'm glad I didn't, because you needed to hear that. Mess. Hey, I am. I, I am so sorry. I'm so sorry that you that you had to hear that. Why? It's the truth, right? Yes. I, I swear to you that I, I didn't know it until I was saying it out loud. What are we doing, Ryan? Madison, I'm No. You don't have to say it. We're over. You and I are finished.